hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm precious and this is my kitchen so today we're going to be making a very special stew called carrot stew these are the ingredients we need to make the stew carrot some pepper onions ginger garlic some meat and then seasoning that's all so let's get started sorry about my voice i'm having cutter so i'm not very energetic and lively if you're in nigeria you will know that the price of tomatoes is something else you would think tomatoes is gold and so i saw this somewhere and i decided to try it this is my first time trying this recipe this carrot you can see i got it for just 400 naira only and i didn't even use it all for the stew so guys the first thing to do is to clean up the carrot scraping up the dirt on the surface of the carrot after doing that i washed the carrots make it so it's neatly washed because I'm going to grind everything after washing it I chopped it into tiny bits I did this so it can be easy for it to be blended or to be grounded so you can just do this it's not stressful just chop it into big big chops so your blender or your grinding machine can find it easier to work with I added some ginger garlic and onions to the chopped carrots and it's ready to be grounded together if you have a blender you can use a blender if it's a grinder whatever just grind it and have something like this at this point i was just looking at this i was like hmm, okay let's see where this goes so i fried the meat and the fish i showed you earlier i just fried everything together this is to make it taste better and to make it last longer in the in the stew so i always like to fry my protein before making my stew after frying it, then I turned the carrot into the oil and just let it cook for a while. Just the way you do with your tomatoes. So I covered this and I left it for about 15 minutes and it was boiling. It was not looking so familiar. I was, at this point, I was questioning myself. I said, I hope this won't turn out well. Then my money no waste. But thank God it did. I added some pepper sauce and pepper paste rather into it and mixed everything together so it can have a good mix if you don't have a separate pepper mix you can just grind it together with the carrot maybe if you have bell pepper and pepper we wash it together with the carrot and grind it i had a separate paste so i didn't have to grind it together allow it to fry keep stirring it intermittently else it will burn and burn everything so time to time i kept frying it just like you will do your normal tomatoes and i kept stirring and then i added my seasoning at this point so it can season together it's maggi and some seasoning and salt that it's in that mixture i mixed everything and just added it and still let it to fry up together before adding my fried protein so i just added this so everything can boil up together here i tasted it so i can know if all the ingredients are sufficient so i added some maggi to it and i added crayfish here i usually don't put crayfish in my stew but i don't know i just felt like doing that so it's quite optional uh, maybe I was just feeling this a new recipe and I needed it to come out good so I just added some crayfish then I added the meat stock and then some water to give it the consistency I wanted because I added water I know it need a little bit more salt and that's all so simple I can tell you that one thing I know about this too it gives the aroma the aroma it gives is something else <laughs> your neighbor will come to your house and knock and ask you what you're cooking because everywhere was just seeing it so nice i boiled some rice and beans so i can try this recipe out and guys hmm, don't be lying it's sweet <laughs> it was really delicious and for the scarcity of tomatoes now this is all i'm going to I have no business with tomatoes this is all i'm going to be making because it was just delicious it was good and my intention here was just to have a little taste of it but before i know i kept going and going and just eating in the kitchen please don't forget to like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it and if you learned something please and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye